Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome, bienvenue, and welcome. My name is Kelly Lamb. I'm the Vice President of Marketing here at Mila. And as all of you are at home, we want to welcome you into our home here at Mila. Today kicks off a very exciting series that we're really happy to bring you. Over the last seven weeks, many of you have joined us <clears throat> on Mila Live, where we've been able to continue to bring the service that you've come to ask of us at Mila. I want to welcome all the viewers across Canada who are joining us today. I also want to welcome viewers that have been invited by some of our key retailers across Canada. From out in Vancouver, I want to welcome our viewers, welcome our customers from Tasco Appliances, Goman's Appliances, as well as Appliance Canada. And then out in the East Coast, we have Creative Appliances and Elmar Appliances in Montreal. So I want to welcome uh, our guests from our retail partners who are joining us here today. So many of you have followed us, know that Mila last week kicked off a campaign called Hashtag Mila Dines Local. We realize that many small businesses right now across Canada are faced with the challenges that many of the businesses are facing, as we are as well. And we want to try to support these businesses. And so with Mila Dines Local, we've challenged restaurants across Canada to share with us their signature dish, or one of the dishes that they love to serve their customers, and to come on and cook with us. And also, for us to be able to support that business, we actually will purchase 100 meals from that restaurant, which we will donate collectively with the restaurant to our frontline workers who are servicing all communities across Canada right now. I'm so excited this morning, or this afternoon, to have Jules Bistro and specifically Chef Eric Stripoli. Bonjour Eric. Bonjour, comment vas-tu? Oui, très bien, merci, bienvenue. Merci. Um, Chef Eric uh, is the owner and co-owner of Jules Bistro here in Toronto and so happy to, to have you with us today. Um, maybe we'll just jump right in a little bit and we'll talk as, we, as you start cooking. Um, what is the dish you've chosen today? Okay, that's one of the oldest uh, recipe and dish that I make in Canada and in France. So it's why it's um, a character of where I come from, close to Lyon. Mm -hmm. And we got to have chicken breast, some fingerling potatoes, a nice bacon, and some mushroom. I don't use too much butter, but I use olive oil because I'm a little bit from the south of France. So it's going to be an easy, easy uh, recipe that anybody can make it. Okay? Perfect. Can I start? Yeah, and, and maybe as you, uh, maybe just before you start, Chef Eric, uh, maybe talk a little bit about Jules Bistro. Oh, Jules Bistro, the first, first Jules was opened in 1985 in Grenoble. <coughs> And uh, I probably make this recipe since this day, <laughs> okay? And uh, after that, we move in Toronto uh, in 2000, by exactly in end of 99, and we open the first Jules Bistro uh, in Toronto in 2000, that we keep 20 years. Unfortunately, we have some bad moments, but we still have two other ones who go to survive. And I got to prepare to you this dish that uh, maybe people go to love. And uh, right now for our viewers out there, Jules Bistro, uh, where are the two locations that ah. are open right now? We are, we are open. Uh, one is uh, Queen and Shah and one is Queen and Leslie. So um, it's very easy to find. You can follow us, Jules Bistro, on Instagram. It's, uh, it's probably the easy way to, to find uh, us and know what we are exactly. You have a little bit of history and about us and everything. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Good. Allez, let's commencer. start. Alors, I go to blanch those uh, potatoes. And these are just small fingerling Ah, uh, fingerling, but they are, uh, there we are, the fingerling potatoes for me is the same that you have in France. The name is Petit Rat. Petit or rat. pomme de terre de Noirmoutier. Okay. It's the equivalent. It's very, very good quality. And we find that here. 
Okay. That's perfect. So we go to blanch first um, um, uh, the potatoes, and after I go to show you. In the meantime, we go to take this bacon. Uh, I like when it's a little bit fat, okay? Mm -hmm. Not too smoky, because it covers too much, because we go to cook slowly and take off the fat and just take the lean meat, okay? So you're cooking very healthy. <laughs> for a French guy, yes. yes. For a, fr for a French guy, it's true that I don't use too much better. And you go to see at the end because I have the the bad part, <laughs> but the tasty one. Okay. So you just put with no fat, nothing. The but a low heat, low, uh, heat. low heat on the on the. You know what I got to do? I got to make something a little bit smarter. So Jules Bistro actually started. Not in Canada, before no. you came to Canada. Oh, I got to give, yeah, oh, before that I came to Canada, and it's, it was the name of my son. It is the name of my <laughs> son, it was. It is the name of my son. And uh, I even, my son is born in uh, 1986, and uh, the, the restaurant was open in 85, okay, in, in Gordon. So we are like that. So maybe he's watching us today too. Uh, I think you work a little bit, I hope oh, okay. for you. <laughs> okay. So now that's what we use for potatoes after. And that's going to be for house chicken, okay? okay? Or you can see that that start to... Yeah. The only thing that we need to wait a little bit and take a little bit time is going to be the potatoes. Okay. Because we need to cook, but I think with the power that we have under this burner, it's pretty good. Okay, so we have chicken breast, boneless, skinless. Mm -hmm. Okay. We go to slice them. This dish is at least for two people. Okay. Okay, okay you can hear my bacon yeah, already start to sizzling like a little bit. You can smell the smoke a little yeah. bit, smokiness. And okay. does this uh, dish still exist in oh in yeah Bistro? yeah yeah i do this dish in uh, 85 and uh, i still doing every restaurant have the sauté That's chicken it. and chef right now at jules bistro can consumers order for i i think you're doing meal kits we we need we need we we do kit uh, kit so with the cote de boeuf with the new di the dish that we have uh, treat. That's magic. That's come from the south of France. Okay. It's the real herb de Provence. Wow. And that's going to be, that's going to be for the potatoes. Okay. And uh, we, we, we use that on, on, um, on uh, Côte de Boeuf. And we do rack of flam. It's really traditional, traditional in the simplest way to make it. So people can order it, pick order it up? Order it. You have a pamphlet with that, uh, uh, or they explain how you need to cook it. Okay. But very, 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 very easy. We never put the people in a bad, um, bad situation, which is complicated and you go to panicking. Mm. It's absolutely right. So we go to seasoning with salt, pepper, okay for one face, and after we go to finish for the other face inside the, the thing. So my bacon start to look pretty good. Yeah. Okay, and you see that we take away all the fat. It's not that the food is completely lean, but... But it's flavor. It's flavor. It's gonna be something. Okay, you see like that. Okay, we go to leave that turn goldy a little bit. I keep that because I go to put my bacon when it's done here, and we go to keep that on the side. Okay. You see the color? Yep. It starts to be interesting, and all the bad stuff. <laughs> we go all to good stuff. No, <laughs> we, we go to keep a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> ah, don't make me wrong. I, 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 you know, I'm a little bit chubby, <laughs> so is it just because? 
Okay. That starts to look good. So not too, uh, not too cooked because after it's going to be crunchy, too crunchy. At least uh, not. Um, but just like that. Also, we have the plate with a little bit of paper towel. I'm going to shut down the, the heat. Okay. Alors, the bacon don't need to be cooked with in a high because after you go to have smoke everywhere in the house a bit later. Okay. Okay. So now, no, so that's, I don't need any more. Okay, let's talk about the chicken. Also. Okay. So just vegetable oil. Okay. Okay. Same. Is not no need to be too hot. Okay. Control your your pan because yeah. Because I think a lot of people at home sometimes go exactly. too hot. Exactly, and it's because and it's going to be a disaster. Okay. It's a, what I say to my cook, my, my cook who work with me. I say the same. If you burn, it's garbage. So if it takes a little bit longer, mm. Mm. okay. So you leave turn your pan pan a little bit hot but not too and you put the face the opposite when you put the the seasoning on and chef right now at Jules Bistro how many days are you open we open every day oh, okay and uh, just for to go it's not it's, it's not a real um, it's um, because we never do really to go so, okay, we are not very good at that. But it's not that we are not good. We never, never need did. <laughs> right. until now. So, okay, so now we, I go to seasoning the other face. Okay. And now we leave that. The same. You, when, when you start, you, you move a little bit your meat like that. It don't stick on your pan, okay? And because it's not too hot, okay. it don't go to burn. Now we go to give that a nice color, okay? We go to need to slice the mushroom. I And chef, is there specific mushrooms you use for this dish? Alors, so that's it's your choice. Okay, because yeah. I know I know you told me earlier that obviously when you started, uh, you used morels, morels, which so is yeah, yeah, fantastic but, flavor. Uh, fantastic <laughs> flavor, and uh, that, that's alors, so when I do this dish today is with the basic basic. Uh, so everybody stuff. can get everybody the ingredients. Everybody can get that in any uh, grocery store. Okay, mm -hmm. you go to lop, lop, you go anywhere. Yeah. And, uh, and again, with the meal kits right now, how does that work? So is everything there for the, for the customers? Yes, and uh, we, 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 we make, a, I don't know the name in English, a, a mode d'emploi. Oh, okay, uh, instruction. Instruction. <laughs> instruction. And, uh, and uh, so they just need to follow. And, and what, when I always think that the people need to have something easy to do, like that, they enjoy their, their stuff, their, their cooking. Okay, you see, it starts slowly to take a nice color. We can put now, okay. And it doesn't even stick, so we're no, not no, using no, no, a no. non-stick pan. It's, uh, so it's because really the, the, yeah, when you start with low heat, we have time, because if it was a steak, it's another story. Yes. But chicken, and like that, it don't go to be too... I don't know the name English too. Tough. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> oh, I, I'm going to be generous today. I've got <laughs> to put a lot of mushrooms. More mushrooms, that's good. More mushrooms. Okay, one more. And again, chef, with the meal kits right now, so you have the Cote de Boeuf. The, and the rack of lamb, and that's the rack it. Of lamb. Yeah, because it's the two, hello, rack of lamb, it's a fantastic uh, dish because the, 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 the lamb come from uh, 
New Zealand, and we have a, a kind of supplier who give us something absolutely phenomenal. It's not that I don't like uh, Ontario lamb, but mm. it's very hard to find. Mm. And uh, sometimes you have big, sometimes you have, and so, because the production here is very low compared to. Right. And, uh, and it's, it's fantastic, uh, fantastic. And also our potatoes go to start. They need approximately five or six minutes. Okay. When the when they broil and it's gonna be good. So. And and so chef, when did you start cooking or how did you start in oh the restaurant chef Hello. business? Not to bring you back too far in time, but. <laughs> it's I know, so my my story is at 14 years old I start in the pastry industry. Oh okay. okay so make. Uh, Brioche, croissant, pastry, all the tarts and stuff like that, bread. And after I have a moment, or because pastry is a very tough job. And uh, so after I, I, um, I um, work in the restaurant industry, but as a waiter and in the kitchen. And in, uh, so that, between that, I go in the army because back then it was logical. Yeah. And after I start, I open my first restaurant at the, in 85 and uh, and, uh, and I stopped, I was in the kitchen. I don't know, so you see that's yeah, now nice start to, that's very nice. to take a nice color. Okay, so we got to lower a little bit. It's just to kick a little bit. Now we got to add the mushroom. Okay, like that you see all that. And we go to deglaze that with the, with, because Usually we use stock, but you don't even need to do stock. Okay. We got just to use the, the cream, but at the last, last minute, but I got to show you. Okay. It's just because I don't like when we reduce too much the... And I do like that, like that, the water of the, sh the mushroom go Very to good. deglaze naturally, okay? Because mushroom obviously has a lot of water content. Yes. And now mm. it's going to finish to, you see, we finish a little bit the color like that. And it's always better to take organic chicken. In, in, in Canada, we are lucky we can find. Yeah. And a very good quality. Almost the same than in France. Or the chicken is a, it's a, it's a, it's a religion. <laughs> <laughs> the emblem of the, you know. <laughs> and chef, so at Juve Bistro, obviously not during these unique times that we're in right now, but what inspires you and how does the menu work? Um, do you have seasonal menus? Does the menu change? I'm sure there's signature dishes that you have that your customers expect. You, we, 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 do, um, we have a base who is always the same. We, we work with salmon, tuna, chicken, mm -hmm. beef, uh, and lamb, duck too. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, we, and after what we find, what if, for example, my, uh, my supplier say, oh, I have a beef chick, fantastic. You can make a nice beef bourguignon. We, we cook, we make a special. We make a lot of special. Okay. That's, we, lo we love to, to, to do that. Okay. So now I go to add my bacon slowly. So you see everything start to look a little bit good. We go to low a little bit because we have time. So the bacon is almost not, no fat, but it still have all its flavor. A little bit of fat is okay. Ah, a little <laughs> bit of fat. It's like everything. Too much is like too less. <laughs> okay. And so you would say really from the south of France side, the dishes are tend to be a little bit lighter. It's a, it's a different culture. You know, uh, cream is above the Loire River. Lyon is just in the middle of that. And when you go south, let's say Valence, who is mm. just 100 kilometers south, it's completely different. Um, you start to have a little bit more thyme, rosemary, bay leaf, and you know, a lot of herbs. Yeah, exactly. So as you see, now we are pretty good. The color is gonna be nice, goldy. Now be careful to don't burn. Mm. So is why, if you are not an expert, don't turn on too high your, your, uh, your burner, okay? And this burner is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, because at home, I think a lot of people sometimes, Boop. it's either high or low, nothing in between. Yeah, you need, you need to, uh, to fill it. But if you follow exactly what they say, yeah. you're good. 
Okay. So you see, not a lot of oil. We just use the, the, the ingredients. So now we go to load that and wait, check how the potato is going to be. Oh, I need at least two or three minutes okay. more. So the potato is going to be uh, caramelized in a, with olive oil. Okay. Seasoning a little bit my oil before. Like that, the potatoes take that pretty well. Okay, and a little bit of salt. Same with salt. Don't put too much in the beginning because it's easy to add. It's impossible to take <laughs> away. Okay, so now we're almost good. I just need to check that. So, Chef, with the meal kits right now for the viewers that are out there, do they order that online with Jude B School or do they call? Yeah, so you, you, have, uh, you follow on Instagram and you have, you have, if you are on the west part of the city, it's better to go on Queen and Shah. Mm -hmm. And you, you can call or can uh, email us. Okay. Right? And uh, same on the, uh, on the other side. And uh, it's easy. And uh, you pick up, we open b between uh, four and eight, more or less. And, uh, and it's easy to pick up and uh, after you follow that, because we make the potatoes with this, uh, the same than this one. Okay. Also, they are uh, pre-made, so blanche, ah, okay. seasoning. So it's very easy. So you for... just need to, you don't even need, well, you can add a little bit more olive oil, but just you need to put that in a pan and that's it. Okay. Okay, now I need to see where I am with that. Very close. Very close. So, uh, Chef Eric, question for you then also is, so what brought you to Canada? A beautiful woman. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay. So it's the mother of my daughter. And uh, so <laughs> I have a restaurant in France. And well, you need to come in my restaurant to see the vibe that we have in the restaurant. I will definitely. Okay. Once, once and uh, and uh, so and she, she was a customer. Well, that's I told in 1980, <laughs> and uh, and uh, we started and she said she was she was an uh, Iranian. She is Iranian, and uh, when the revolution happened over there, they moved in Canada, and but they have a French uh, French culture, so she moved back to France for a bit, and I meet her, and after we decided to come back here because all his family was here, and me, I was completely okay to uh, to do that, so. And you were saying there's still a Jules Bisco in, uh, you have a Jules Bisco in Japan. In Japan, so. That's amazing. Yeah, so one of my former chef, Kay, uh, uh, worked for me during two or three years, four years almost. And uh, he wanted to open the Jules Bisco over there. And uh, at one point I say yes. And we, 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 do, the, we do the grand opening in uh, what, three years ago, I think. Wow. And uh, it's still open, but he have, he's affected by the the coronavirus too. And uh, but it, it, it was uh, it's it, it's another world over there. <laughs> the fish market is absolutely insane. Okay, my potatoes are good. So what you do with your potatoes? Be careful. We go to rinse them. And try to make them cool Oops, down a little bit. That's hot. <laughs> it's hot, I forgot. So you're just rinsing off any starch? And ju ju no, no, it's just to, to, to cool them down a little bit because we need to touch them to cook them. Okay. So it's, it's better to don't burn your finger. Okay. So, Chef, we have, a, we have a question from a viewer right now. Yeah. So, uh, Lily J. So, Lily, I, I remember you from our other session. So, obviously, uh, welcome back and <laughs> joining us. Um, so, Lily J.'s comment is, I'm surprised how long the chicken breast has been cooking. Always thought chicken breast should be cooked not too long to avoid from drying out. But, but and I, also, uh, the difference is we, we, we don't use high heat. Yeah, I, I'm here, and Lily, if you, watching. If you cut a little bit, it's just going to be 
almost finished. You no, know, just finished yeah, now. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay. Yeah, it so really now? is. I, I thought the same thing, Lily, but I'm yeah. actually right here. Uh, and it's amazing that it's still very plump and tender. And now we go to add the magical stuff, the cream. Uh, don't say nothing, please. <laughs> I just say that is a very it's light plate. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> it is. And, and Lily, the chef has been using a very, very low controlled heat. Um, and really, so surprisingly, the chicken is still very, very tender. Oops. Well, and now we we'll go to caramelize our uh, potatoes. When everything is going to be ready, we go to put a little bit of kick under, just like that. Is going to we we go to have a kind of reduction of uh, of the cream, but not too much because the cream need to be. All right, ready up. And so, so Chef, we, we were talking earlier, so um, it's a funny story how you actually heard about oh. our initiative about Mila Dines Local here in Canada. So it, it kind of did a the, whirlwind the, tour. The manager, the manager of um, uh, Jules at um, uh, Queen West, Jean, who is a French guy, have a sister who worked for Mila. Okay? In France. In France. And she called him and say, why you don't work with us? I say, working, how we call the working? <laughs> and is why I'm here, because we call you, <laughs> knowing what you do. And, uh, and, uh, and it really is great to have you uh, oh, thank join you. us today to thank share you. really your expertise. Uh, and also uh, how, how Jules has managed to also kind of be creative and manage through these interesting times. Yeah. Again, that's... Uh, we're all facing right so now. So for the potatoes, you need to have a knife on it, okay? You okay. see that? That's going to be... That's going to be perfect. So I go to make... Just because they're already cooked, okay? So we just know, go to give them color, a nice color. Right. Okay. Are we good? You have another question? We're good. Lots of time. A lot of time? Okay, <laughs> okay so I love the, this Miss Green because you can find organic one. Mm -hmm. And I make a, a very simple, simple dressing. And, and what's in the dressing? And the dressing is a little bit of Dijon mustard, um, apple cider vinegar, mm. a red wine vinegar, and uh, vegetable oil, salt, and pepper. That's it. It's a uh, so we got to put like that. I need to cook a little bit more. Okay. Look, look. Mm -hmm. Oops, it's gonna be good. So you see that? We got this. Now we have, we're at the time we go, we go to set up the plate. So we read a little bit that. Okay. To, to make a, a kind of reduction and that all the flavor got to mix with shoulder. Mm -hmm. So chef, we were also talking earlier, so Stripoli is not typically <laughs> a French name. No, my name is not Dupont. <laughs> <coughs> so I, I'm, um, I'm part of this immigration in, uh, after the Second World War and even before. Okay, so now we are good. I just need a few seconds for that. Okay. Ah, a little bit more on this one. Some nice color there. You can really smell the herb de Provence. Ah, those one. It's, it's a friend of me who bring me that from France. It's, a, it's a one of my suppliers, by the way, and it's fantastic. So you see, you can see bubbling a little bit. I just got to give a little bit more color on that. So even now, you're continuing as best you can to work with your suppliers uh, for the, for the yes, uh, meal yes. kits? Yes, yes. All the meat, all the, the come from them, and we, we are very... We, we have a very long relationship, okay, with everybody. In my, uh, it's 20 years that I work mm. with them, so they, they trust me. They, they, are not, um, they are not afraid if I have a hard time to pay. So it's, it's really good for that. Okay, that's it. 
So as you can see, they take just a light color like that. Okay, and now we go to dress up the plate. Okay. So chef, as you're plating, I'm gonna uh, take another question yeah. from a viewer. So John out there, welcome John to Mila Live today and with uh, Chef Eric. Sir, <laughs> Very Zero. everything is there uh, and you can even buy wine <laughs> from us. <laughs> ah, I was gonna, ah, I was going to ask you about yeah, that. Yeah, finally so the LCBO will give us a little bit of break on, the, on that and uh, uh, we, we have, uh, we, you can buy the, the, so it's $70 for, the, for, for two people and uh, $100 with, uh, with a bottle of wine. We have a selection. Perfect. If I'm you, I take the Coduron is the best. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, it's creamy and up, but not too reduction. Yeah. Oh, that reduced very nicely. Yeah, it's better. Okay. Okay, chef, so for this dish, what type of wine would you recommend? Oh, that you can, oh. <laughs> if it's a summer, you have a nice rosé. <laughs> ah, very nice, okay, yes. Okay, okay, and we got to put the goodies on top. Yeah, I think sometimes people forget about rosés. They, they uh, always think red, white, and sometimes... It's not a complex meal, so it's not necessary to have a complex wine. And you know, the, for me, the, the food is an enjoyment, mm -hmm. and the wine helps a little bit. Okay. So, sauté de poulet. <laughs> wow, very beautiful. Fingerling potatoes, mixed green. Please help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Merci. That, You're that's welcome. fantastic. So You're welcome. Um, I think I think it's a great recipe to share for people at home too ah. because it's right now sometimes it's very hard to find ingredients. Oh yeah, that that's the in basic ingredient is why I take this dish too, because you can find anywhere. Yeah. Okay, you go in any and any, not complicated mushroom, poof, chicken breast, huh? yeah. salad. If you want another one, if you're on romaine, if you want, it's not a big deal, okay? A and the potatoes, I really like those one, but you can buy the little round one if you want. And, uh, okay. Um, so another question uh, from uh, Roman or Romaine. Um, are there takeout options from the restaurant right now? Yes, okay. we have. Uh, especially on the east side, we have, we can, we make some, uh, a sandwich okay. in, a, in a brioche bun and uh, we make a, a salmon sandwich, a steak sandwich Ooh. and a chicken sandwich and we add a little bit of shallots caramelized on top and we do a, the traditional steak frit, saute chicken and um, oh. salmon and just a chicken breast, just roasted like that. Oh, okay. So, so that's, and that's just to pick up because we make the fries at the last minute. So. It's better to eat very fast. And you were saying your fries are very good. So I, uh, I would encourage you to you go also <laughs> try the fries at, you need, you from Jules Bisco. Yes, everybody need to try that. <laughs> okay. Great. Well, uh, Chef Eric, thank you so much. Merci bien de Merci. être avec nous. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, uh, uh, <laughs> on fait ça, <laughs> parfait. <laughs> Et, uh, bienvenue It's, ici. Merci, merci, merci beaucoup. beaucoup. I hope, um, I, I uh, hope you, know, you have a good time. And uh, yeah, if I, you have any question, you can call me yeah, at the restaurant. Exactly. You can ask <laughs> Chef Eric. Any tips? But uh, anyways, we, we want to thank all of you out there. Uh, strongly encourage you to try this dish at home, but also support uh, Jules Bistro, Chef Eric, and, and his team uh, during this help. time. Um, you know, whether it's the takeout, I think sandwiches are great as well. Uh, but also the meal kits would strongly encourage you to try. Uh, easy to do at home. Again, Absolutely. instead of going to the grocery store where you, you uh, pick you, up, everything's you open, there. You cook, it's done. Yeah, so, okay. so fantastic. So uh, thank you once again for joining us. You're welcome, uh, you're welcome. I want to thank all of you uh, out there for joining us. Continue to uh, remain safe, but support local um, as, as best as you can right now. Uh, we will all get through this for sure. Um, it's just uh, we all need to be a little bit patient right now. So again, want to thank all our viewers for joining us today. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another session. Follow Chef Eric and his team on Instagram. Um, I think there'll be uh, great recipes and, and great food to be had uh, as well. Um, very lastly, uh, on behalf of uh, Chef Eric, 
uh, his team at Gio Bisco, the team at Mila Canada. Um, we want to send a very, very big thank you to all of the frontline workers that are out there right now supporting all the communi communities across Canada, providing the necessary services from medical services to grocery service to restaurant services uh, to those that are delivering as well. Um, public transportation again. We want to send our biggest thank you. Um, we will actually be supporting Chef Eric and his team as well. We're going to uh, purchase a hundred meals, which we will actually collectively donate. And, and we thank you very um, much for that. Oh, he helped than, a lot at this time. Of yeah, no problem. And and we will donate that collectively to uh, some of the frontline workers that are out there. So again, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Uh, remain safe, and we hope to see you on our next uh, episode of Meal Alive tomorrow afternoon as well. So thank you. Merci.